Hi, everybody. My name is Oliver Heilmer. I'm head of Mini Design. And what you see here behind me is the Mini Electric Pace Setter inspired by Jim Cooper Works. From a design perspective, it is the first of its kind. And we are combining the world of John Cooper Works with the world of Mini Electric. Today, I would like to give you three insights regarding our Mini Electric pace setter. First, the bumper face in the front as well as in the rear are coming directly from our current Mini John Cooper Works models. So the first area where you see this combination of Mini Electric and uh, Mini John Cooper Works. Secondly, the wheel design. For the racetrack, this car needs wider wheels, a different track, more traction. For this purpose, we found the perfect wheel. It's the Mini GP wheel. It's the perfect combination between performance and lightweight but we decided to go for a different color coding. So at a first glance, you might not be able to see the GP wheel, but coming closer, you see that it's exactly that geometry. And third, the color of our mini electric pace setter. You see, it's the first time ever where we are showing a matte finish on a mini. And what I like a lot is this contrast between our high glossy bonnet stripes and the rest of them. And first of all, what you see in the front, it's a sportiness. And from a design perspective, it is the first time ever where we are combining the mini electric world with the mini John Cooper Works world. And that's what you see in the front as a first glance. So first of all, the bumper face is coming directly from our John Cooper Works models. And this is what you see here. The upper area of the grill is mostly closed, but the pace car needs more cooling. And for that reason, the lower part of the grill is mostly opened. What this car doesn't need anymore are the air intakes for additional coolings. Next to the front splitter, which is specifically for the pace car, we decided to widen the track of the Mini Electric, and that's what you see from a front perspective, the stance of the car. We're talking about uh, 20 to 25 millimeters each, and this is the space we used to emphasize our wheel arches, and we call them spats. that they're more or less floating, but ending in an area where we are able to show the wheels from behind. And this is a feature which we do in the front as well as in the rear. Our color concept for our mini electric pace car is based on gradients of gray, matte gray to black high gloss finish in combination with orange and yellow highlights. The yellow, because we are talking about mini electric and the orange in transition towards red because we are talking about John Cooper works. So we are combining those two worlds again together in this color concept. This is the perspective that race drivers see from our mini electric pace car. On top, you see the light bar, which status lights. It's sitting on top of the spoiler because it needs to be seen from every perspective. In the center, in the window area, we do have um, additional functional lights or status lights. In the lower area, you see parts of our production mini John Cooper works combined with additional elements in the center without exhaust pipes, obviously. Overall, I have to say that I like that perspective a lot because you see the wide stance of the Mini 
you are able to see the width and to feel the width of the wheels and to feel that sporty character of our mini electric pesetta. Now, let's have a look into the interior. Our task for the interior was pretty simple. Reduce as much weight as possible. And that's what we did. No carpets anymore. Almost no switches anymore. Just one piece of door panel with just a few elements that are necessary for safety reasons. Two racing seats in it with 3D printed patterns and six point belts. That was the design overview of our new mini electric pace setter. But now I'm really excited to see our baby on the racetrack. Thank you, bye bye. <laughs>